So let's start with today's delicious moti chur ladu. Now here I've taken one cup of chana dal and I'm going to wash it really well under water and then I'm going to soak it. So this one cup I'm going to soak it in three cups of water to, for five to six hours. After five to six hours we're going to drain this till all the water goes away for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to blitz it or just grind it in my mixer. Don't continuously grind it. Just grind, stop, grind, stop. We don't want a paste but we want a, a little bit of a thick coarse uh, dry powder like this. So this is the consistency. It should be a thick dry powder. There should be not there should be no water in it. It shouldn't be a paste. So now I've heated up about uh, one fourth cup of oil and I'm just going to fry these. I've just made them into flat kind of balls and we're just going to deep fry this on a low to medium flame till it's cooked really well and evenly. So I fried this, I put a timer, I fried this on a low to medium flame for about five minutes in total. Five to seven minutes keeping uh, you know just stirring in between but you have to fry this really really well because in this recipe I'm not going to be making any boondies by straining the mixture through a sieve or you know a kind of a zani but we're going to actually uh, do it a different way which is a much easier way but the most important thing is frying this thoroughly well don't make your flame high, it should be on a low to medium flame and this is how it should look. So approximately 5 to 7 minutes, fry it really really well. And then once it has cooled to room temperature, we're just going to break it up. It should be very crispy and it should fall apart very very easily. It shouldn't be soft but very very crispy. So if yours have not become crispy, then again put them back into the uh, oil and fry them till they're nice and crispy. This is the most important process in making the moti chur ladu. And now we're just going to put them again into the blender. And again we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to blitz it till we get a powder like this. A very fine powder. A fine crispy powder. So again all I've done is I've blitzed it and don't grind it continuously I'll just show it to you in the next uh, scene or the next clip so take a little of this and then just put it blitz it stop blitz it stop blitz it stop don't continuously grind it otherwise you'll get a paste we want a very very fine powder like this this is the most important part So it should look like this, like boondi actually, crispy boondi. And now the most important, second most important part is we're going to measure it. So here I've taken a steel vati and I'm measuring it. It You should get exactly three vatis. And for these three vatis, of this mixture we're going to use one one fourth cup of sugar to make the sugar syrup so this is also very important that you measure it and it should come to three watties and now I'm going to use the same vati and I'm going to measure one cup of sugar And then I'm going to take another quarter cup. Now if you don't want it very sweet, you can just use one cup of sugar. So this is the proportion of for the sugar syrup. So now I'm going to add this to my pan. And I'm going to add just three-fourth of a cup of water using the same vati. Now I'm going to mix this really well. And I'm going to keep my flame on high for exactly five minutes, stirring in between. And then your mixture will start to bubble like this after five minutes. Let it bubble on a high flame.
we don't want a very thick syrup so just boil it for 5 minutes till it starts to bubble like this and after 5 minutes you can reduce the flame to low to medium I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of cardamom or elaichi powder mix that in well Next, I'm going to add a few strands of saffron, about 8 to 10 strands of kesar or saffron. And now the motichur lado has a distinct orange red color. So I'm going to go with food coloring of orange red. You can use powder or gel or liquid. We want a very deep uh, orange red powder uh, color. Sorry. And now once the mixture is ready, we're just going to add the ground uh, powder that we made into it and mix it really well cook it for about two to three minutes and it will thicken up like this now just leave it aside to cool to room temperature you can add some dry fruits like kishmish and chopped up uh, cashew nuts if you like and there you can see the mixture is already now that it has cooled to room temperature you can actually see the Boondi formed in it and now all we have to do is just form ladus with it or laddus so I'm here, here I'm just greasing my palms with a little bit of ghee or clarified butter and then I'm just going to form even sized laddus ensure that the mixture is warm it's not hot if it's very hot then you will not be able to handle the mixture and the laddus will not form they will break and then of course you can add cashew nuts to make them look pretty and that's it guys your lovely moti chewed laddus are ready so try this out this diwali and let me know how you like it it's a simple and lovely way of making moti chewed laddus so if you like today's recipe don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon don't forget to subscribe to Akshita's recipes and I'll leave all the other Diwali recipes down in the description box. You can go and check out all my recipes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon in my next video. Sooner than anything, this is Akshita signing off. Bye.